Buckeye's going to see a client named Sunya near Hana on the island of Maui. Sunya's home is deep in the jungle on a long dirt road. My client Sunya is relatively inaccessible at times. Her property he is completely off the grid. We got some muddy trenches. Even today, I went off the road. I almost thought that I was going to be in the rough. But I somehow managed to get back on the road. This was actually one of the muddier trips. Oh, I made it. Hey, buddy. It takes a certain kind of person to live out here by themselves off the grid in the jungle. And she's a very hardy woman. She's very self-sufficient. Hey, there you are. Good to see you. My name is Sunya. I live on East Maui. We're off the grid. My water comes from the stream. The electricity comes from solar panels. Everything here is pretty much self-sufficient. Buckeye's here to see Sunya's two donkeys, Willow and Susu, a pair of overeaters with bad feet. So who do you want to do first? This one. Willow? OK. Willow likes to eat. And she likes to eat a lot. All that eating has turned Willow into one fat donkey. Looks to me like she's got a pretty big grass belly. Um, how often do you bring her in the pen? Because I know you have her out in the grass a lot, and there's a lot of it. She's working on her grass belly, slowly but surely. So I, I brought you something interesting. I want to show it to you, see what you think about it. It's gotten to the point now where it's affecting the physicality of the donkey. It's putting all that added weight onto her limbs and her little feet. So we figured out that we could try this grazing muzzle. You know, have you ever seen those little environmental enrichment toys they have for dogs that get separation anxiety? So when you leave, you can leave them a little ball with one hole, and you fill it with kibble, and they have to roll it around to get the kibble so out. So she has to work harder to get something to eat. Exactly, and this is the only hole where she can get the grass. So mm. it takes her She can't just sit there and munch and crunch and just go crazy. That's, you know, exercise. That, that's going to fit nice. So this is just quite like a halter. I think it's a good idea. That's, that's a $1,000 idea, don't you think? Yeah, I think we should try it. <laughs> 